Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. My name is Adebusui Olutai Oluma. You are from Wildlife, my Jesus Christ story. I'm so, so happy to join you in this wonderful edition of Daily Lessons from the Book of Proverbs. How are you doing and how has it been? This is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. It's been an awesome month, November 30. It's over now. We are in the first of December 2020. And we are happy. Let's just rejoice for that. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. This is the time of access with God. Take charge and be part of what God is doing this time. Again, we continue our daily lessons from the book of Proverbs, from the Proverbs 1, and we are using Good News Bible this month of December. It's going to be awesome because it's going to be time of Christmas. But before we move again and before we start this session this morning, I just want to remind you of something of why we are doing this. God says, go into the world and let people follow me. So what is wildlife about? We are out the name of Jesus Christ in marketplace for marketplace leveraging on marketplace principles we inspire people to take their place in the seven influences that shapes culture we're talking about family we're talking about education we're talking about politics we're talking about media we're talking about science and tech we're talking about sport and we're talking about economy those are the seven influences that shapes a nation I will tell you believers to go into these places and make disciples and create and win for Jesus Christ. This is what wildlife is all about. And again, I want to say this before we kickstart Proverbs 1 again this morning. Remember, God is omnipotent, omni, omniscient. God is the God of all man, of all flesh. You cannot use your brain or your mind to calculate God. Allow Him to do what He wants to do with your life and you will win. Remember, each thought inspired by Him that is welcomed and processed by you amplifies both Him and you. Again, each thought provided by him to you, welcomed and processed by you, amplifies him and you. That is why you must learn to trust in the Lord and commit all your ways in him. Remember what Proverbs 3, 5 let us know. He said, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understandings. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Those are the key things you must learn to do in this December. Today is December 1st, 2020 from Lagos, Nigeria. I just want to remind you to make December count for you and tell yourself, call your name, say Adibusui, I will end 2020 a great person. I will end 2020 a billionaire in pounds and dollars and euros. I will end 2020 strong, fervent, superior than ever before. I will end 2020 a great personality, strong, healthy, fervent in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Those are my message for you this morning as we go to Proverbs the daily lessons from the book of Proverbs and we are using Good News Bible this wonderful morning and let's do this. He said, the Proverbs of Solomon's son of David and king of Israel. 
Here are proverbs that will help you to recognize wisdom and good advice and understand things with deep meanings. They can teach you how to live intelligently and how to be honest, just, and fair. They can make an inexperienced person clever and teach young people how to be resourceful. These proverbs can even add to the knowledge of the wise and give guidance to the educated. Wow! So that they can understand the hidden meaning of proverbs and problem that the wise race. To have wisdom, you must first have reverence for the Lord. What the King James called the fear of the Lord. Stupid people have no respect for wisdom and refuse to learn. Don't be a stupid personality. Pay attention to what your father and mother tells you, my son. Their teachings will improve your character as a handsome turban or a necklace improve your appearance. When sinners tempt you, my son, don't give him. Suppose they say, come on, let's find someone to kill. Let's attack some innocent people for the fun of it. They may be alive and well when we find them, but they will be dead when we are through with them. We'll find all kinds of riches and fill our houses with loot and join us. We'll all share what we steal. Don't go with people like that, my son. Stay away from them. They can't wait to do something bad. They are always ready to kill. It does no good to spread a net when the bird you want to catch watching. But people like that are setting a trap for themselves. A trap in which they will die, robbery always claims the life of a robber. This is what happens to anyone who lives in violence. Hmm. Remember we are doing daily lessons from the book of Proverbs and today we are in episode 30 which is Proverbs chapter 1 from the daily lessons from the book of Proverbs. We are in verse 20 now because we are doing Proverbs 4. Listen, wisdom is calling out in the street and marketplace, calling loudly all the city gates and whatever people come together. Foolish people, how long do you want to be foolish? How long will you enjoy pouring scorn on knowledge you will never learn? Listen when I reprimand you. I will give you good advice and share my knowledge with you. I have been calling you, inviting you to come, and you would not listen. You pay my attention, no attention. You have ignored all my advice and have not been willing to let me correct you. So when you get into trouble, I will laugh at you. I will mock you when terror strikes. When it comes on you like a storm, bringing fears, winds of trouble, and you are in pain and mystery, then you will call for wisdom. But I will not answer. You may look for me everywhere, but you will not find me. You have never had any use of knowledge and always refused to obey the Lord. You have never wanted my advice or paid any attention when I corrected you. So when you will get what you deserve, and your actions will make you see. Inexperienced people die because destroyed, because they are destroyed, because they reject wisdom. Stupid people are destroyed by their own lack of concern. But whoever listen to me, we have security. He will perceive with no reason to be afraid. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, war without end. I'm so happy that we've come to the end of the lessons from the book of Proverbs. We did Proverbs 1 today, and I want to conclude with this. Remember, we walk by common sense, we drive by principles, we fly 
by instruction. If you are going to be an eye flyer, you must be someone who listens to instruction. You must be someone who pays attention to instruction. You must be someone who follows instruction to the details. And I want to advise you, there is no path to instruction than you following to the detail. Remember, the best way to pray is to what? pray what do i mean the best way to learn how to pray is to pray that is the formula if you want to be better in prayer you learn how to pray you do it daily you inspire yourself to do it more and more that's the best way you can learn how to pray as i round up this morning remember those a can do loses nothing like another candle again a candle loses nothing lighting another candle you do not lose anything when you help somebody in fact you are actually doing it for yourself because it is what it means to live interdependently for excellence thank you i'm going to see you again tomorrow on daily lessons from the book of proverbs as we engage proverbs chapter 2 thank you and god bless you